Hey there, Saber family. This is Space Windu here from the FX Saber Forums. I have a very old school lightsaber here for you tonight. This one is the 2005 Master Replicas lightsaber, and it's been specially upgraded to look like more of like a Graflex with the custom Saber Shop emitter part. Uh, real Graflex pins here. The custom Saber Shop emitter part holds the 8-pin DIN plug. Let's see if you guys can see that. It holds the 8-pin DIN plug, which is for the string blade. This lightsaber is powered by the Plector Labs Crystal Focus LS for my friend Ron. He's been a very patient Jedi. He's been waiting a long time for this. This one here has a auxiliary button right on the uh, top of the clamp card. So if you could see, it's, there you go. Um, it's just one of those little gold tactile switches embedded in the, uh, in the circuit card there, which I think is supposed to look like like an Anakin Episode 3 circuit card, maybe. This is the clamp that came with it, retaining the original uh, on-off slide switch there. have the glass eye from the Graflex shop that is in the uh, custom Saber shop emitter part. And on top here is the way you do the blade retention, which is uh, another part from the, from the Graflex shop, which is the, uh, like the red thumb screw. So when you put your blade in, just wanna tighten that down this one has the 7.4 battery pack from the Custom Saber Shop. It's a really nice big pack that's going to power the string blade for a really long time. What you do to turn it on here is just undo the pommel. And there's a couple things here. There's access to the SD card. There's the rice port and there's the charge port uh, where you see the little pull key. So pull out the kill key there. And when you put the kill key back in, make sure you're not putting that into the rice port, okay? That goes into the, uh, into the, into the black uh, charge port. That's also where you're gonna plug in your recharger. There's a little blue accent light inside here. You can screw on the pommel. And you can get one of your blades out. Uh, what I did for Ron here, he wanted my real blue, which is basically what I think looks exactly like the movies uh, as far as a Graflex color goes. So that's white LEDs that are super bright, five millimeter LEDs inside a blue day blade from the Custom Saber Shop.
also has a blue day blade tip. I have Makoto foam in here. I have other diffusions such as four layers of heat shrink that go over the nearly 200 LEDs. A hundred plus of them are for the main blade and you have about 70 flash on clash LEDs. Now make sure you get the the pins correct when you're going to insert the blade here. You don't want to uh, turn this uh, to get it in. You just want to go straight in. So I'm going to just look at the teeth here and I just need to line it up. Once you get the blade seated properly you can tighten your blade retention screw which is this Graflex red button on the back here and activate your lightsaber. When you go to take the blade out, make sure you undo your blade retention thumb screw and you're going to just slide the blade straight out, no turning at all or else that will crunch things. So you just want to go straight out. Now when we talked about the lightsaber for Ron, he was interested in a few different string blade colors. One of them was the real blue and the other one is my Viridian. So what I did for Ron was I made him a Viridian as well. This is white LEDs inside a green day blade. This is got also the green day blade tip with the drilled out tip just like the blue one. And let me show you guys what Viridian looks like. This one is actually my favorite color. This is the, one of the coolest things about the string blades. So it takes a long time to make, but you could actually make exactly, exactly what you want. So I've got a few uh, fonts in here that I think Ron will really like. This one that we've been playing with is called Rogue by Mad Cow. Hold down the auxiliary button. I'm going to get access. Must have the, the most serious mind. Got access to the menu. Rogue. That one's Rogue. So you have an episode seven font. When Ray fights Kylo Ren. So you also have tracks.
So I actually lowered the volume of the tracks to three. You can up that volume, but I just found that with the music, it actually is better to uh, keep the volume down a little bit. Uh, you could also play with the blade uh, while that's happening, and it becomes a blade graph, which is pretty cool. Using the segments of the blade. Tap the button to get to the next song. Now, of course, I've got Heirloom here, which is uh, like the first font that Luke has with his lightsaber when he's training on the Millennium Falcon and also uh, when Obi-Wan gives him his lightsaber for the first time. This is a great one to have on any kind of Graflex lightsaber. What's in there? What with you? So here we have Bespin, another Mad Cow font representing Empire Strikes Back. Really like Bespin a lot. Let's see what's next. What's in there? I'll leave what you take with you. You set the chain of a Skywalker. Okay, so this one's just one of the best. Uh, this one is just a lot of fun. It's a little different than some of the other fonts. This one's by Juan Sith. It is Empire Strikes Back Legends. So when you're playing around with this one, it kind of sounds like Vader's in the room with you. That's cool. And when you do something to it, you can like wait for a Vader quote. He does that type of stuff. This one is another one that's a lot of fun. I think this one's by Mad Cow. Uh, this one is called Hoth, and it's basically, as you can imagine, it's based around Hoth, so it's another Empire Strikes Back font. 
And this is another unique one because there's a lot of other ambient sounds going on and some secrets happening when you listen. So you'll be able to check that out. Check out the force uh, effects that go on, the different effects, the different fonts with their different blaster sounds. You can even set up uh, through the rice port down here, you can set up different bl uh, blade effects. So like right now, uh, when I hit the blaster, you see sometimes there's like a segment that goes away randomly. You can set that so that it doesn't do that. You can set that to where uh, the flash on clash, a uh, white strip in there uh, shows up and not anything happening with the blade on a blaster block and just any type of effect that you can think of, you can kind of tune it inside the uh, real-time configuration editor, the uh, rice port. Okay, everybody, thanks for taking a look at Ron's lightsaber. It's an oldie but a goodie, I promise you. It has my favorite system in it, and I know Ron is going to have a great time with it. He's going he's gonna to entertain his kids and stuff and have a good time uh, with, this, with this lightsaber and the two different blades that come with it. So go check out FX Sabers. Sign up there if you haven't already. Check out all the cool builds that people are doing. Post your own pictures there. Go to the Custom Saber Shop. Sign up there. Everything's free. You guys can check out what a lot of the other builders in the community are making. Some of it's really unique. Some of it is uh, really stellar. Just getting better every single day. Alright, talk to y'all soon.